What up, everyone? It's your boy Enigma, aka Pano, and I got a treat for today. A classic toy review. I mean, not that classic. I mean, I think this show ended in 2019, maybe, or maybe a little later. I don't know. But this is a classic toy review of a toy that you can no longer find in stores. I ordered this one on eBay, and I believe you might know him from R.I.D.'s 2015 line. A later developed toy, but still from that show. Quill Fire, the Septicon, Member Steel Jaws pack in uh, season three, and one of the escapees that helped Septicon Island not in season two, and a regular con that did not join the pack of Steel Jaw or Dialed until season while I was in season one. So let's see what we got. Quill Fire, of course, comes with a blaster. You can hold it in your hand. He comes with a quill, of course, that you can like use to fight. Uh, yeah, this is like the third time I've tried to make this video because like, I wasn't sure how, how I was doing well. But, but yeah, ball joint arm, swivel arm, floppy hand, and one we'll knee, foot rotates like this. I love ball joint. And this one bends a little more because, as you can see, I'm going to show it right now. I got this on eBay and it was damaged, but it still works good. Transformation is still solid. So let's begin the transformation. Meanwhile, while we talk, I will give you a little background on Quillfire's dossier or his criminal record uh, while we talk. So, if I remember correctly from Quillfire's dossier that Fix the pull up in Quillfire's first episode. Uh, or first appearance on the show, he was arrested because he was trying to lead a revolution or believes in a revolution for like the second one. I don't know who, like he just was all about revolution and stuff, so he kind of was uh, just arrested. Then when he escaped uh, off that war after Agamemnon crash, he continued to spread his revolution on Earth. And lost her short. He, you know, oh man, impacts uh, hurt B with one of his quills, and apparently, according to what I, was, what I remember about Quillfire, uh, the quills have different effects on each person. Because the second time Quillfire I've seen Quillfire his quills was in uh, season two, episode I think maybe six or however. I for, it was just the second time Quillfire made an appearance. So that in that episode, it was impact. That episode was called impacted, and like the his quills uh, sort of, you know, caused B and Strong to not be able to transform out B Homo for a while. He had uh, just like in season one when B got struck by one Quillfire's quills. Uh, he could not. He was busy acting like a kid, basically, a very hyperactive kid. Not like. And I don't mean like, yeah, busy. He was just like a kid on coffee, hyperactive and like so out of control. So basically, an average terrible two, two year old. As I say, terrible twos are two are terrible. So yeah, uh, basically, he was B in season one when Quillfire got him out with his quills. Uh, he was just like a toddler on cat extreme caffeine and also uh, like a two uh, terrible two year old uh, like terrible two year old yeah well I mean cool fire schools are mighty impressive to the amount of power they have because like uh, the, when uh, the uh, strong RMB got struck uh, sorry about it is saying so long I'm trying to get this little piece to stick better but, yeah by the time, like, the, they, you know, when B and Charm got struck, um, they, you know, were, uh, how about this? They were basically, uh, not able to transform back, uh, into Robot Mode for a while because they were stuck in B Homo at the time when they got struck, uh, by the quills. So the quills prevented, the toxin in the quills basically, you know, caused them to not be able to transform. And uh, yeah, uh, okay. This is all I'm trying to make what I can do. Uh, yeah, so Quillfire 
uh, eventually was captured and put into stasis. And uh, then, you know, he was taken back to Cybertron. And then, like, later in Season 3, he was, you know, revealed to be a member of Steeljaw's pack again. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Uh, if you do not like emotions in this, do not watch this video. Because, like, that was not fun. But. Yes. I don't know why I like put up with this. Cause it's just uh Yeah, it's hard to say I'm just so long, guys. I'm trying my best. But hey, at least you're listening to me and like I appreciate that. Uh not really fun like when when no one's listening to you. But like I'm glad you're like, listening if you're if you stick on with us for this song. Uh but yeah. Uh, why does he keep doing that? One more, more, more pause. Hey, right, now we're fixed. Finally got in place, had to get the little dock here back up first. But yeah, uh, Cool Fire was a unique Sidon. I believe he's based off a porcupine or made of a hedgehog. Yeah, definitely porcupine. Hedgehogs may not uh, have uh, pricklies, but I don't think this will match up to a hedgehog. I mean, he's a porcupine, uh, his animal type. He's supposed to be based off of what is important mine. And let's see. Yep, that completes the transformation mode. And we put the gun back here, either tab. Either input tab works. So yeah. This is a good one. Overall I rated uh, mainly I wanna say five points or yeah, five points. Four and a half points, that's my new limit, uh, five, uh, zero to four. Well, this is, uh, but overall, favorite Decepticon that I have. Um, yeah. Oh, our favorite animal based Decepticon, I'll just say, uh, yeah, definitely a 10 for our overall animal based Decepticon. And, yeah, that's good. So, I'll do Bumblebee uh, another time later. I had him on Order of Rams, but he came damaged package. So long story short, I, I hope I will, I will do him, but like he'll be out of his packaging. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll do him one another time, and I will do that soon, hopefully. Okay, well, um, I gotta go. Uh, remember to, keep your, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget, uh, keep your imagination active, your toys play with, and remember, hugs on drugs, and I'll see y'all next time. Enigma out. Okay, Pano out.